Yo, and welcome to another Renegade X Essentials tutorial. This one's replacing an older tutorial. Uh, it's replacing the one where we actually add the, the map to the game. Uh, so it's all changed in beta 5. I should have done this tutorial a while ago. I just haven't had the time. Uh, anyway, let's get to it. So I have my SDK open, which is my left uh, explorer and uh, my game is in my right explorer so this one is my game and this one is my SDK. First thing we need to do is actually add the map and its assets to the game. Uh, so we're going to go to uh, UDK, content. Uh, in the game itself it isn't actually content, it's called Cook PC, so we'll put a Cook PC. Uh, then we're going to go to maps, maps, Renegade X and Renegade X, blah blah blah. Right, so my map is a bit different to every other map you can see. Uh, you can tell that there's a. That it's different, uh, mainly because CNC is different. Uh, so the reason I, the reason it's different uh, is I need to show you something. <laughs> CNC actually has to be capital letter or in caps if you don't put them in caps uh, the game will start freaking out uh, it will start the game it will load the map the map will load then it will start counting down five four three two one then it will go to four and stay there just say pending uh, you can move around the map but the map the game will not actually start uh, so it has to be in capital letters so we're putting capital letters and I might as well put that in as well uh, I'm gonna copy this for now even though I just messed up no I didn't uh, so I, I copy that uh, now I need to get my uh, custom assets uh, in this case uh, there's only one one asset folder or one asset package uh, so it's in uh, content, Renegade X uh, environments in their game. It's Cook BC Renegade X environments. And uh, mine is custom toot. So I'm just going to put that over. I've got two separate hard drives here. So copying and pasting is just a matter of dragging and dropping. But you should just right click copy and right click paste if you need to. Or control C and control V. Uh, and that's that done. Uh, you can technically get into the game, uh, the map via the game now, uh, just by uh, using the console command open space map name. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but we want to be adding it to the skirmish menu. Uh, this is extremely simple now, uh, there's no messing around. Uh, so, we want to go to uh, UDK game, then config in both SDK and uh, the game. In the SDK we have this extra fault, well we have a lot of extra stuff, but there's one in particular, is CNC test map underscore MP dot INI. I call them INIs, you can call them whatever you want. I, I, INI, INISHI, INI, whatever. All right, so we actually need a copy of this. I'm just gonna copy that over. And we need to rename this. This needs to be the same name as your map, so CNC Tutorial. So, in our game we have a new um, map ini file, our INI, and uh, in this we'll find well, not much information, but yeah. Anything with a colon at the beginning means it will not get read. So, if I colon out all this, uh, it means nothing will get read. Uh, so, if you didn't know that, it's, it's handy. So, anything that's coloned out can't be read. That means all this stuff at the top is public information. It's just information for the person who was reading it. In this case, it's uh, it's a copy of uh, Islands. So, this information is just there to help you. Uh, decipher what this stuff is down the bottom. So, islands. Map name is islands. 
well this is the folder uh, not the folder the file then you've got your map name then your friendly map name is island uh, preview image uh, so you get an image in the, in the menu unfortunately custom maps can't get this in, this yet uh, we are working on it uh, then you got your size if it's symmetrical or not even though islands is technically not symmetrical it's classed as symmetrical a minimum number of players for a decent game uh, if it contains air units or if air, air, air vehicles are enabled in the, the world properties uh, if it contains tech buildings uh, if it contains base defenses mine limit and vehicle limit I believe these two are only for multiplayer I could be wrong uh, but yeah let's, let's fill this in so I want to change all these to my map name uh, so let's do that so this is my map uh, my map name is going to be CNC tutorial uh, I'm actually just going to, call, going to call it tutorial map if I can spell uh, as I said, a colon means it will never read, so this part by here is actually coloned out because we can't actually add an image just yet, unfortunately. We will be able to later, I believe. Uh, but yeah, my map is actually a large map. It's actually a very large map, but there we go. It's non-symmetrical, but I'm just going to leave this as symmetrical uh, because every map is symmetrical for some reason. Uh, it's a large map, so I want 16 players. This one's a bit odd for this map. Uh, air vehicles aren't enabled in world properties, but, this is a big but, uh, I've added my own tech buildings. Uh, they're helipads. I can get three orcas or three Apaches and three uh, flying coffins, Chinooks on each side. So technically I can get six free units that don't, well don't, Get, don't get attached to the vehicle limit which I'll go through later um, but they're not actually a part of you can't buy them within the war factories or PT levels they're its own separate thing so it's actually a attack building so I'm just going to steal this and uh, va whoops via tech build uh, Tech buildings, I actually have three. I have two helipads and a silo. A helipad in each base and a silo in the middle. Uh, base defenses, I don't have any. Uh, mine limit, uh, it's quite a large map, so 40. Uh, vehicle limit is seven, as I said. My air units are actually a part of a kismet string, and the kismet takes care of the air vehicles, while uh, the game itself will take care of any anything bought through uh, the existing purchase terminals. So that's it. Uh, just save. That's it. Done. Uh, and you just want to load up the game. Uh, launch game. I should be back once this is lo uh, loaded. It doesn't take very long, but I don't want to put it in the video. Waste your valuable time. So I shall see you in a second. Yeah, so we've done that. Uh, as I said, if you hit the console command, it's like F5, or for me, it's the at symbol. I have a UK computer uh, keyboard, so it's always at. It might be the tilde key or tiled, uh, tied key uh, to get this console open. F5 for everyone, usually. Yeah, F5 is that. Uh, I like I the big one because it shows me everything. Uh, if you type in open, then CNC dash. Well, tutorial. I actually have it there. Uh, if I hit enter, it'll actually open the map. Uh, show you. There we go. Uh, word of warning the first time you actually load the map, uh, it may take a while uh, because shaders need to be built for the game. So we're, we're actually in game now and it works. And I don't have a PT level yet, so it doesn't work. But Make sure you build lights and paths or as you get all these errors at the top. So, yeah. Uh, let me go back to my, my, main, my main menu. And uh, let's go to the skirmish menu. Uh, down the bottom of the skirmish menu, you get your map. Uh, don't have an image, but we can see how everything's uh, worked. 
Uh, we have a large size, technically it's not symmetrical, but symmetrical. Recommended players, 16 air vehicles via tech building. Uh, tech buildings, three, and base defenses, none. And we can launch from there, sorted. Uh, vehicle limits and uh, mine limits you have you have to set up in the in the menu uh, so I don't think it actually uh, works for skirmish but I believe it works for multiplayer so yeah we can actually run around again I just should have built light in but I didn't have enough time everything works harvester works It's all good. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Catch you in the next one. Ta da!